Dito kami ngayon sa klinik Tumataas ang dugo ni misis Kaya kailangan magpa-check up Naghihintay kami sa loob ng sakyan Nung Monday pa tumataas ang dugo niya eh Hanggang ngayon mataas pa rin kaya Punta na kami ng klinik para mag Pa-check up Waiting waiting lang Dari tadi Ayo na yung mag pa-check Your name? Chedeline Valles uh, Can I birth for your birth? December 2, 1982 Okay, okay. 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 Go ahead and put in your finger here. Take a deep breath. Try not to move it. Your arm is okay, just feel like that. Oh, what's your blood pressure at home? 160 over 105. Who's, who's your primary doctor? Uh, Dr. Villa. Dr. Villa? Yes. Did she put you on any medication for blood pressure? Yes. Then move your arm again. Pila ngayon Oh, the other side Sorry Because I, I do have a history. I'm taking medication for blood pressure. Uh -huh. So that Monday night I had a headache. So my friend told me to take my blood pressure and okay. she find out that 
my blood pressure, my BP was this. Okay. So I had to keep recording it and then if it's yeah. going Yeah. Any, it looks like you were also having um, sore throat. Uh, not sore throat, it's just a itchy throat. Itchy? Yeah. Okay. Um, any nausea? Just a little bit dizzy. Okay. Dizziness? Yeah. Um, what about your vision changes? No. No? Good. Any vomiting? No. Fevers? Chills? No. No? Okay. Um, how long have you been on the metoprolol? Uh, that one it's on the... Because I used to take Narbas. My doctor changed it because I had my my heart is beating fast okay. with the Norva, so she changed it. Maybe that's like two months. Been two months taking that. Okay. Yeah. Good. And when's the last time you saw your doctor? About a month, maybe, right? Yeah. About a month ago. About a month ago. Okay. So there's a couple things going on. Yes. Okay. Those numbers are not, these ones are 140 is okay, 132, 146, but the 160s, you know, we do worry about and we do want to treat them and more so this bottom number being so high we worry about. That could easily be causing a headache, a nausea, vomiting, um, feeling dizzy. The, the concern right now is headaches are also a big problem with COVID-19 and we've had Ironically, a few cases of people that I just thought had high blood pressure and they wound up being positive for COVID-19. So I couldn't bring them in. And so that was my problem with you. I couldn't bring you inside to do any kind of blood work to try and change anything. The bright side is with blood pressures, we usually worry about, um, you know, we let the primary care doctor decide what medicine you want to be on. Um, is you, who's your primary care doctor again? Dr. Villa. Okay, so not here, somewhere else? Yes. Okay. Um, so what I am going to recommend in the short term right now is to test you for COVID-19. Make sure we don't have something that's automatically all of a sudden causing this to have the high blood pressures. Okay. Hopefully those results will be back in about two to three days. With that being said, I would recommend that we um, follow up with our primary doctor on Monday, because today's already Wednesday, so that they can reevaluate your blood pressure because blood pressure medicine can go up and down and it can take weeks to, you know, change people's blood pressures. We don't want to do too much in the short term um, in terms of adding medicine to your regimen, okay? Um, 160, right? I think today it was... Where did it go that? Did it take my test? Maybe one of them. 160 over 100 is high. Did you take your metoprolol yet? Yes, I did this Good. morning. Is that the only blood pressure medicine you're on? Yes. And it's 25 milligrams of it? 50. 50? Yeah. Are you taking it twice a day? Just once a day. Just once a day? Okay. Are you okay to lean forward for me? Yes. Lean towards that way. No, 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 no. Your, your body lean that way so I can listen to your back. Sorry. Good job. Some nice deep breaths for me. Lungs sound great. So I would recommend testing you for COVID and as soon as you get a negative test, you can do one of two things. You can come back here so I can get some blood work on you and then talk about starting you on a diuretic. Um, or you can follow with your PCP and she can see what medicine that she wants to add to your regimen. Um, I do agree, your blood pressures are too high and you need a medicine to keep them down moving forward. Sorry, my plastic stethoscope. Um, but not something that I want to give you today 
because that it requires a lot of follow-up. Okay? Does that make sense for you? Yeah. Is anybody else having symptoms at home? No. No? Good. Are we still working right now? Yes. Yes? Where do we work? I work at um, Bank of Guamagania at oh. Balutan Queen. Okay. Yeah. Um, and nobody's been positive at your job that you know of? Not that I know. Open your mouth. I just want to see that throat. Say ah. Uh, look towards me if you can. Say ah. Uh. Uh. No signs of strep throat. Have you been tested before? No? So it's a swab in your nose, 10 seconds, 10 twirls. Your eye is going to tinkle in here. It's going to be uncomfortable but not painful, okay? And again, your date of birth is 12282. Alright, you ready? Nice, I know, it's okay. Nice deep breath, here we go. Perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. those results. In the meantime, maybe call your primary care doctor so you can get an appointment for this week. Okay. If not, you can come back here as soon as these results are negative so I can get you inside and do some blood work on you, okay? Thank so, you. like, how many days? Ideally, um, you should hopefully have the results back by Friday. We're getting them back pretty quickly. However, okay. we just had a pretty big spike in the amount of testing, so it might not be till Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so I'm going to make an appointment. So I would try to make an appointment with them for Monday. Um, but you can try and make an appointment for Friday if they're comfortable seeing you inside. I know our clinic, we're very, very strict with who gets inside right now. Dr. Ingram. Ingram. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Any questions? Um, what if, if it gets high? Is there anything that I can do to lower it, like, in, uh, besides medicine? So in, in general, the best way to lower blood pressure is to relax, which is hard, weight loss, so that's a long-term thing, um, and then eating healthy. And those are the best ways to decrease our blood pressure. Exercise helps, um, and that's all for the long-term, because you're so young, so we're thinking, you know, once we lose weight, the blood pressure comes right down. But if you're at home and you're checking and you're worried that it's getting high, you want to take a few deep breaths, drink lots of water, if it goes above, you know, 180, 190s, if you're having a bad headache, if you feel like you can't catch your breath, you need to go to the hospital. Okay. Okay, but usually at this level, um, hopefully, you know, things, you don't feel good, but, you know, you don't usually have a lot of serious conditions. Uh, but if it gets too high, you need to get seen. Okay. Or like some of the medicines I want to put you, I would put you on as a primary doc is a diuretic, but I can't do that until I know what your kidneys look like. So that's why, like, you know, I can't really add medicine for you on, in this visit. Um, your primary care doctor would be able to do that. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, Beth. You're Thank welcome you. to Tylenol, and hopefully you'll feel a little bit better and try and relax until we get these test results. Okay. Thank All you, right. Beth. Thank you so much. You. feel better. I'm sorry I couldn't get you inside. It's okay. Thank All you. All right. Paul, do you have any questions? Okay. Up, nakatapos na rin ang tagal na paghihintay namin ngayon uwi na kakain na ng tangalian sakit bye bye masyak